co-promoter on the May 29th, Friday, Barclays Center show, topped by Amir Khan against his guy, Chris Algieri. Joe tells me he's going to stir the pot. Uh, no stirring the pot. The pot just keeps going. Uh, no stirring. You know why? Because you're an attorney. Yeah, that's your, that's your you're, right, an you're an attorney, and you know that it's not sometimes wise to stir the pot. Am I right? The pot stirs by itself. Nobody's going to stir it. You know, I, always, I help it along, though. Yeah. Right? Now, you got a fighter's nose, Joe DeGuardi. You Tell us how you got that nose. Uh, a lot of years of getting hit. Uh, is that the people in your office hitting you, or is that who? Now, that's these days. Your mom, yeah, right? Your, your mom works in your office. No, 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 no. My, no. Uh, my actually, my father's wife. Your father's wife works in the office. Oh, okay. Now. Um, I got Ron there. I got David. They got a right. bunch of different. No, guys. but honestly, you come from a fight background. You were fight background, uh, right? I um, boxed since I'm um, five years old. In the right. gyms every day. Right. Won the Golden Gloves. Fought for the U.S. team. Right. You know, things like that. Yeah. Uh, a real boxer, no, it, it, it helps fighter, to have that knowledge base. And, and, and when you deal with fighters, they say this, all right, my, my man, is he's down there. He knows what it's like to take the lumps, no, to wake sure. up, peeing blood, et cetera, et cetera. For so sure. there's a credibility thing. For sure. All right, listen, you got you got your guy on Friday night, Chris Algieri fighting. My man, I'm hearing a lot of people telling me Woods, he's in over his head. Amir Khan is too good. He's too skilled. I just saw Algieri come in a fight. He was knocked down six times. He's a no-hoper, and obviously you don't feel that way. Why, how can Chris Algieri beat Amir Khan? Well, you know what? It was about a year ago he was saying the same thing when he was in this arena, right. ready to fight Ruslan Pavadnikov. Okay. I thought that was a perfect fight for him. Right. And I think this is the kind of fight that could not resurrect him because he's never been away. He okay. lost to Manny Pacquiao. It's not a disgrace. But this is the kind of fight where he wants to be. Elite level, top right. fighters. And a win over here puts him back on you know, everybody's mind as being an elite fighter. Oh, undoubtedly. And you know what? Win or lose, I respect Chris Algieri for wanting to get back on the biggest stages. He's risking ridicule. If he gets bombed out here after losing to Manny Pacquiao, he's going to get his chops busted. So I told him to his face, win or lose, props to you, man, for wanting that tough fight. I had one fight he yeah, used to tell me no risk, no reward. And I had Monty Barrett always used, to, always used to tell me, scared money don't make no money. Right. And that's, that's what Chris is doing. Right. You step up the plate, and really he wants to be in the top of the game. Right. So what do you do? You stay in the top, you fight right. the best. Joe, you come from a fighting background. Yeah, it's your guy in the fight on Friday night. But how does Chris Algieri, technically, what does he do? to beat Amir Khan Friday well, I night. Think he's, Chris is a sensationally conditioned athlete. Okay. And I think that's what he's got to take advantage of. Okay. Make it a fast fight, make it a fast pace, nice. and take him deep. Okay. Take him deep and, and show a few things that John David Jackson's been working with that I think Setting would be a down few down punches, stuff. making you respect your power exactly. a little bit more than we've seen in the past. Exactly. Little surprises okay. that'll come out there. Things that he didn't really have before because he didn't have the technical trainer, right. but now he does. All right, good stuff. Joe DeGuardia, thanks for talking. We appreciate it. Good luck Friday night, man. He's good, Mike. All right, buddy.